In this video I'm going to show you how to free up space on your MacBook. When you come to purchase your MacBook, many people find themselves on this page unable to pay the extortionate prices for the extra storage and at only 256 gig that comes as standard on the Mac, you quickly run out of storage space. So the first step of freeing up space on your Mac is coming up to the little Apple logo and clicking about this Mac. And from here you want to click the storage and this will tell you how much storage you have left. You can hover here to see which is taking up the space on your Mac. But the best thing to do is head over to manage and you should be greeted with the recommendations page. And on the recommendations page, you can see all the suggestions that Apple suggests that you turn on. The first one is obviously the iClouds. Again, this can be quickly filled up and the costs can start to spiral, but it is a good thing to turn on. The second one to optimize storage. This will automatically remove movies and TV shows that you've already watched to save space. You will be able to re-download them if you need to. One really overlooked setting is the automatically to empty recycle bin. And I recommend that everyone turns this on. This is where the bin will be automatically emptied every 30 days. You do that by clicking turn on and then selecting turn on. Then the last one, reduce clutter. Again, you can go through this process. The recommendations page is the first page that I'd go to and go through the options that are available to you and turn on which apply to you and which you think could save you some space on your Mac. The second place to look is on the left hand side here. You can see all the different sections of your Mac that is taking up space and how much space they are taking. For instance, the applications is taking 4.18 gigabyte of space. So what you'd do, you'd simply click, in this case applications, and you can also sort for when the last time you used the applications. So let's say for instance, I no longer use strong lifts. What you'd do, you'd simply click it and come down to delete. You'll need to enter your password to delete it. This will delete the application and save you some space on your Mac. As you can see here, iMovies is taking an awful lot of space on my Mac. Then you could move your way down each individual section, and in this case, Documents. As you can see again, iMovies is taking a lot of space on mine, but you can also see the individual files that are taking up space. You would delete as needed and any files that you no longer need. You could simply click the files or files to delete space quickly from the Mac. You would then move your way through each individual section on the left hand side. And once you've moved through, if you have a look on the left hand side again, here, underneath all the different sections of the Mac, you can see your Mac OS system is taking up 15.19 gigabyte. If you have any guest accounts on the Mac, these will show up here, as these can take an awful lot of space if the user who's using a guest account maybe have been downloading many items. And this is the best way to free up space on your MacBook. And that is how you free up space on your MacBook. Hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please hit the like button below and check out this next quick Mac tip for more helpful space saving ideas.